the first thing you can look forward to is an introduction of a USB-C port. And what that means is essentially your chargers hopefully can be exactly the same for all of your devices. There's been a lot of talk about this, particularly because it can be a hassle to charge your devices and hold individual chargers for each. The Apple Signature Lightning port is something that could be done away with. There'll be also uh, a dynamic island feature on standard models. Now this in fact was present more or less in iPhone 14. They've reworked and advanced it in iPhone 15 reportedly. A stainless steel pro model will also make it lighter. Now the bigger the model obviously the better it is. In this case it's likely that this will be possible in the pro and the pro max model. The, we're also being told that the iPhone 15 pro max will have a periscope lens and there's been a lot of talk about this and how it could actually have an impact on your camera completely transforming it. The last one is that it will be powered by A17 bionic chipsets which means that the iPhone could be faster. And besides this there's a lot of talk about battery life because hey we all struggle with that with our iPhones and it's expected there will be some announcement about that also getting better in iPhone 15s.